In this video, we are going to learn about how we can draw the sum or the product of two functions. For this, we have to find the maximum and minimum value of f of x. Let's say f of x lies between a and b. Now when we add g of x, we get a plus g of x is less than f of x plus g of x is less than b plus g of x. And here f of x plus g of x is equal to h of x. So h of x lies between a plus g of x and b plus g of x. Now when f of x equal to 0, we get h of x is equal to g of x. When f of x is greater than 0, we get h of x is greater than g of x. And when f of x is less than 0, we get h of x is less than g of x. Let's take some example. y equal to x plus sin x. We know that sin lies between minus 1 and 1. So y lies between x minus 1 and x plus 1. We can easily draw the graph of x minus 1 and x plus 1. Now when sin x equal to 0, we get y equal to x. When sin x is greater than 0, we get y equal to x plus sin x, which is greater than x. And when sin x is less than 0, we get y equal to x plus sin x is less than x. So from these equations, we can draw the graph of x plus sin x. We can see that y equal to x plus sin x is above the line y equal to x when x lies between 0 to pi. And when x lies between 0 to minus pi, sin x become negative. So y equal to x plus sin x is below the line y equal to x. Now let's draw the product of two functions. For this we have to find the maximum and minimum of f of x. Let's say a is minimum and b is maximum. So f of x lies between a and b. So a times g of x is greater than or equal to f of x, g of x is greater than or equal to b times g of x. a times g of x is greater than or equal to h of x is greater than or equal to b times g of x. And when f of x equal to 0, h of x is also equal to 0. Let's take some example. y equal to x by 3 sin x. Here sin x lies between 1 and minus 1. So y lies between minus x by 3 and x by 3. When sin x equal to 0, we have x equal to n pi, where n belongs to z. So y equal to 0, when x equal to minus 2 pi, minus pi, 0, pi, 2 pi and so on and y equal to x by 3 when x equal to pi by 2 pi pi by 2 and so on and y equal to minus x by 3 when x equal to minus pi by 2 3 pi by 2 and so on so the graph of this function look like this